Hey, welcome to the show. Today we're looking at your shoulders. We're looking at what they're supposed to do in the golf swing. We're also going to give you two exercises, one routine. You do it for five minutes. It's going to get you turning your shoulders better, going to get you hitting the golf ball better, going to get you enjoying the game better. Let's go. Hey, how's it going? Today we're talking shoulders. What are the shoulders supposed to be doing in the golf swing? Well, believe it or not, like I always say, the golf swing is a rotational movement. So you're rotating, rotating. A lot of people forget that it's a rotational movement and end up going back in a rotation and then sliding or shifting and not doing it properly. So I'm just going to show you three things here that are going to help you understand what the shoulders are going to be doing and get your body learning what the shoulders are supposed to be doing in the swing. So the very first basic one, uh, we're going to do it from an upright position because I find it just makes it easier to understand when you're not thinking about the golf swing. Uh, what we're learning is learning to, to, to turn your body and then the arms will follow. Okay. Uh, let's get going on this, this one. We're going to start with a minute, okay? And all you're going to do is you're going to take, take your, your fists right in the middle of your body, elbows out to the side, okay? And then for one minute, what you're going to do is you're going to turn, reach for the wall behind you, and turn, reach for the wall behind you, okay? So you should see the shoulders getting in a nice straight line here, reaching for the wall behind me, all right? That's it. We're not really worrying about your hips right now. I have another video that shows you what the hips are supposed to be doing in the golf swing, so feel free to check that out. I also got tons of other videos if you want to subscribe or like and uh, want to learn to play some better golf, get some golf tips. Very, very simple things to get your body understanding positions and feels and what it's supposed to feel like. Okay? But for now, what you're doing is you're feeling like you're reaching for the wall behind you. Okay? Turn, turn. That's it. If you want to add some hips, you can add some hips. All right, you can turn your hips as well to get that whole body rotating. But I want you to understand that the shoulders are rotating back and through. Back and through. Okay, reach for that wall. You got less than 10 seconds. Reach back to the wall. Reach back to the wall. Get rotation on both sides. All right, now we're done. Okay, very good one. Very basic to get you going. All right, getting you to understand where the turn comes from. So now we're going to screw everything up. Why is that? We're going to get you into your golf position. Everything is fine and dandy until all of a sudden you get into this position and that screws everything up. Next thing you know, people are turning and sliding and coming over the top and getting their hips moving. So we're going to show you one here that's going to get you understanding what your shoulders should be doing from your golf stance, okay? So just bend forward into your golf stance. I'm going to turn to the side a little bit. And as you see, as I shift into my golf stance, I'm going to draw a line here that's parallel to my spine, all right? So you, what you want to think about is that's the way your shoulders are turning in this drill. You're reaching for that line that's behind your, your spine that's parallel to it, okay? So you're not reaching up in the air towards the sky. You're reaching back towards the wall, that line that's like a wall behind you, but it's a line that's parallel to your spine, okay? So let's do that same drill. You're going to have your arms facing each other, fists together. Get into your golf stance, okay? So remember the golf stance is just a hinge. It's not a knee tuck this way. It's a hinge. And all you're gonna do is see that little line that's parallel to my spine behind me? I want you to reach for that line. Good, reach for that line, okay? That's all we're doing. Boom. For one minute, reach for the line that's parallel to your spine. That's the way your shoulders wanna turn. Okay, it's, it's all about angles. Golf is all about keeping the planes and the angles consistent. So reach for that line behind you. Reach, reach. Okay, the hardest one for people is the follow through. People forget to keep turning that lead shoulder through. Okay, so reach for the line, reach for the line, reach, reach. Keep that up. I'm going to turn back to the front. You got 30 seconds left. Okay, keep that going. Reach, reach. Feel that stretch. Reach, reach. The biggest problem is people forget about this lead shoulder has to keep going. They get to the ball and then that lead shoulder doesn't turn around behind them. It stays and that's where you get that extension. So you want that lead shoulder going behind you, okay? Boom. Reach for that line that's parallel to your spine. You've got five seconds. Bam. 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 Nice job, okay? So that's what you have to understand. As soon as you bend forward, you're reaching for the line that's parallel to your spine, not to the sky. You're not reaching up, okay? So the last thing you have to understand about the swing is, is that your shoulders, they come through a little bit differently going down than they do going back. 
So your shoulders go back along a straight line, but then you lead by pulling this shoulder down and around. Okay, so there's almost a little dip. All right, here to here. Okay, the good thing about this, the best way to think about this is I'm going to draw a line right at my shoulder height. Okay, so if you watch here, when I turn my shoulders back and through, it all stays below that line. Keep both shoulders below the line the entire time. All right, the biggest problem people see is they come and then they get over the top of the line. So they come and they get over the top, which you don't want. Also, what you'll see is you'll see people extend through the line where they early extend. Okay, the key is this lead shoulder has to go back behind you. All right, so let's do about 10 of these. All right, you're just going to turn back and then underneath the line. One, two, good. See how the shoulders stay under the line, under the line. Four, good. Five, under the line. Six, keep those shoulders under the line. Seven, get that lead shoulder behind. Eight, nine, and 10. Good. So does that make sense? Okay, does that make sense for you? You have to understand that it's a rotational movement. It's just done on a little bit of a different plane. All right. Uh, I have a really great video that shows how the arm plane is supposed to match the shoulder plane and gives you a nice drill to understand that. So have a look for that. Check out that video. Also, you know, subscribe to my channel if you want to get lots of golf tips, lots of golf fitness tips, get you hitting the ball better, playing better, enjoying the game more. Just keep at it. Keep practicing. And we'll see you again soon. Keep it in the short grass.